Hi everyone, my name is Charles. Um, we're going to treat scale today. Scale, first of all, in my own definition, I define scale as the running of notes in a particular direction to give you a specific melody. Everyone has their own explanation of it, but this is mine. Um, there are different types of scales, but today we are going to be treating the diatonic scale. <laughs> the, diatonic, the diatonic scale comprises of Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. These notes make up your diatonic scales. For those of you who don't have a teacher or you don't have um, a trainer, or probably you can't afford to go to a music school and all that. I'm using this medium to educate you. You can learn on your own while going through this. So I want you to pick up your notes and your pen and jot down everything I give to you. Today we're going to learn the formula on how to run these notes. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do on your diatonic scale. So sit back and watch as I give you more lectures. This before me or before you is a formula I drafted and I think it will be very useful for the running of this scale, the diatonic scale. I call it the diatonic formula. As you can see written here is your do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, which is do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. I'm sure you observe some bar-like structures in between some of these notes yeah these are these are notes i used to um, explain how you can run the scale successfully if you're able to memorize this it will go a long way to help you especially in knowing how to run it on all keys i personally don't like people who just play the keyboard and you are a transpose addict it shows you're not really working on what you're doing and we're going to learn how to run the scales this scale the tonic and this is the formula now each of this is a note and remember on the keyboard I'm sure you must have seen your black keys and the white keys they are all equal they are all the same they all perform equal they all have equal obligations so I don't like you to look at one over another now this if this is your do remember when you are you're about to play the particular key that you are playing on automatically becomes your do so now we start do for you to get your re you're going to skip the next the immediate note after it so now this is the immediate note you skip it to get your re you skip the immediate note to get your mi but your mi and fa they are together you skip the next note to get your so you skip the next note to get your la you skip the note next note to get your t and then your t and your do they are together i want you to observe if you observe well, you see that your mi fa and your ti do they are together. There is nothing in between them. If you can memorize this formula, you can run it freely on your keyboard without any problems. So do to get your re, you skip the next note. To get your mi, you skip the next note. Your mi and your fa they are together. To get your so, you skip the next note. To get your la, you skip the next note. Your ti and your do they are together. Now we're going to practicalize it on the keyboard. Now we're going to learn the keyboard. We're going to start in the alphabetical order. Let's start from key A. Remember, for those of you who are just joining, go to my last lecture on keys key a happens to be the white key before the third of the three black keys which is this we're going to start from key a 
So like I told you before, whatever key you are playing on automatically becomes your do. Now, we pick our A. This is now our do. For you to get your re, like I said, you will skip the immediate note after it. This is the immediate note after it. Now you skip it to the next one, which is your re. For you to get your me, you skip the immediate note after it, which is this, to the next one, which is your me. When you do it, you try to memorize. Do, re, mi on key A. Do, re, mi. For you to get your fa, they are together, which is the next note. Fa, do, re, mi, fa. For you to get your saw, you skip the next note to the next one. You are skipping this to this. So, so it's going to be do, re, mi, fa, so. For you to get your la, you skip the next note to the other one. So you skip this to get this. You try to memorize do, re, mi, fa, so, la. For you to get your la, your, to, for you to get your T, you skip the next note to the other one, which is this to get this. So it's going to be la, T. Remember I told you before, your T and your Do are together. Mi, Do. So when you watch Mi, Fa, Ti, Do, they are together. Now let's run it all together. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. So, I'm going to give you um, the scale, the written one for key A and for key A sharp or B flat. So you can watch. Paraventure, you are confused. But like I said, it's very, very easy. The moment you memorize that formula, you can run all keys comfortably. Like I said, this is your key A. Do, you skip one to get three, you skip one to get me, fa, you skip one to get so. You skip one to get la, you skip one to get t, and they're together. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you a written sketch of the scale for key A. You can just uh, memorize it and then get it. This is it. I just drafted this one. As you can see, do re. Me is up here. This is black. This black note. Fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. As you can see how simple it is. Just with the formula, you can be able to memorize it. Okay. I'm going to get you the one for your B flat. So you can learn two keys for this episode, the diatonic scale on two keys. This is the one for B flat, as you can see. The Do started here, Do, you can see your Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, it's still the same formula I gave you. So if you can adhere to that formula, it's very easy for you. Try and work on this for like one or two weeks. A week is enough. Constant rehearsal. Just make up like 30 minutes and do it. And after this, I will still give you more keys on the diatonic scale. Then after that, we'll go to the next one, which is the chords. I think I'll stop here for this episode for now.